Hello, hey, this is Jim Barlow. I'm here to help you today understand how to customize the version of Ansible running underneath your Ansible tower. What I've got here is a fresh install of an Ansible tower. If we go in the upper right here, I can see it's 3.5.1 and it is based on Ansible 2.8.2. But I have the need to uh, actually run some playbooks based on Ansible 2.3. If I look at the templates, I've got the default that comes with uh, the product, but also I have a simple playbook uh, template I put together called version that'll show us the underlying version of Ansible. And note there's no place to check to see which version I can select of Ansible because it's just the default of 2.8.2. So if I go to uh, the documentation, there's a virtual environment capability with Ansible Tower. And there's the old way of doing the Ansible Tower virtual environment here, which uh, suggests going into uh, the var lib awx tree. But the new method is much cleaner. We're going to simply go ahead and, and um, create an environment here by putting it in, uh, a little tree into the opt optional directory here. So I've created a directory. I'll go ahead and make sure the permissions are correct on that. And then we'll tie that directory or publish that directory to tower. And we'll do that by just running a curl command. So we'll hit the API and uh, knew that would happen. There's a couple errors here. First of all, I don't have DNS set up like it thinks I do. So I got to change the host to localhost. The other thing I'll run up against is that I need to put in username and password. And uh, that's the password I specified. That's not a real default password. And here I'm told that I need to turn off the certificate checking. I can go in here and put in insecure. And that should have done it. Now, underneath this directory, we're going to create um, actually a create create a virtual environment here. So we can do that. Best advised to do that with this command. I'm going to call this Ansible three two dot three. Very good, that's done. And now I'm going to want to go ahead and install the PSUtil facilities. Custom then has to be replaced with Ansible 2.3. Okay, got an error here. And what's happening here is that GCC is not installed and while it's not in the directions, GCC needs to be installed to compile some upgrades to the crypto. So what I need to do is uh, sudo yum group install and I will use um, development tools group and because there's space here I'll escape that space and that should install development tools. And I'll speed this up a little bit. Okay, I'm back. And let's see if we can install PSUtil now. That worked. We're getting a little bit of complaint because pip isn't the version that they'd like us to have. This is really optional, but I'll go ahead and upgrade pip as well. Now, I uh, want to go ahead and install the next step here is to install my custom Ansible. Let me make that a little bigger. And what I can do is go... Uh, In here, I 
Now, if I don't know which version I want, and I can simply put double equals here, leave it blank, I got a back uh, object here with um, basically a whole list of versions. And I can see that in the 2.3 branch, which is what I'm interested in, that 2.3.0 is the latest. I'll make that the version I install. Getting a, a warning here that 2.7 is coming out of support for Python. Red Hat does will support 2.7 uh, on RHEL past that expiration. We'll do that on our own. OK. Now, I should be able, to, at this point, to install any other things I want to in this virtual environment. But that's all I really want to install here. You know, I, can, I could put more things in, but this will illustrate for us. So let's go to Tower now and fold that away. And I'm going to re refresh the screen here and see if I'm offered more. OK, so here's something new. Right down here, there's the use default environment. I can go ahead and run this playbook to see what it looks like in the default environment. Uh, the default environment is right here on the left. It's var, lib, awx, venv, ansible. And sure enough, it comes back with a 2.82. Now, if I go back to the template by clicking on the template name, I can do a drop down here. I can change default environment to my new Ansible 2.3 environment. I'll need to save that and launch it. Aha, now it worked. We've got the Ansible version string uh, is 2.3.3, .3, and you can see it ran out of my Ansible 2.3.